Hello guys, we are back and today we're making something very interesting, especially considering the title of our show. Today we are making no bait desserts. Super easy. That's, that's the thing about me. I love super easy desserts. So what we're going to be doing is we're doing two pies. They are actually called ice box pies. So we're doing cream sickle, which is exactly what it sounds like. The flavors of orange and vanilla together. And we're also doing Samoa pie, which yes, 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 it does taste like the Girl Scout cookie. You guys are going to love this. All right, so we're gonna go in and get started. We're gonna start with our wonderful crust on our cream sickle pie. That's gonna be our first dessert today that we're doing is the cream sickle pie. So we're gonna take 20 vanilla Oreos. We're gonna put them into our food processor. We wanna get those nicely crushed up into essentially a powder. So you want it nice and fine. You don't want any lumps in there. And we're gonna go in and get that ground up over here. And so we're gonna get started. Looking good. Let's give it a look. Let's open that up and see how we're looking. Looks pretty good, guys. Nice and fine there. So now we're going to move on to our next step, which is we're going to turn that one low, and then we're going to go in and pour that into those vanilla cookie crumbs. Let's give it a look. pretty good. Use your scraper there and sort of move that around. Let me look at the consistency there. All right. And if you guys have been watching us, you know this is my everyday helper, my husband Joseph, who does a fantastic job. Let me tell you guys, he's learning. At this point, I can probably let him cater dessert for a dinner party. Yes. Well, wow. I mean, I'm giving you a compliment I'll here. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's All right. Place. He deserves it, guys. All right. So... Yeah, looks good, looks good. So what we can do now is, it looks like it's nicely mixed. Butter's nicely incorporated. We don't have any dry spots. We're gonna take these adorable little mini pop-ins. I love mini desserts. They're great, they're individualized. People can bring them home. So we're gonna do these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that crust in here and we're gonna push it all the way up to the sides. And that's what we're gonna do right now. And we're gonna show you how that looks too, just so you know how it's supposed to look. And you do it. We'll be taking roughly about four tablespoons of this crust. Looking good. And you know, this isn't a perfect science. So give it a little bit more, a little less. It's still gonna taste great, guys. Perfect, but you do wanna push that up the sides. Now, I have been known at the shop to cheat when I have multiple pies to make. We do a pie week at the shop, and literally we're doing hundreds of pies, of these mini pies. And so I will occasionally cheat and only put it at the bottom. That's between me and you. <laughs> All right, this is looking good, babe. Oh, make sure you push this up from the corners. You don't, so you don't wanna have super thick corners. So you wanna make sure you're pushing that up to the sides and keep pushing, going around. That's right. So yeah. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. All right, there we go. That's how you do it. Keep pushing that up. Looking good, babe, all right. Go up, that's perfect. So let's give you a look at that. Looks good, right guys? He's doing a good job. All right. Perfect, we're gonna do our last little pie. Push that up, and then we're gonna set that aside as we get ready to make our filling. All right, hello guys. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in and move to our filling part of the pie. And so we're gonna go in and add in eight ounces of cream cheese and a quarter of a cup of, um, that is sour cream. So a quarter of a cup of sour cream. So we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna go in and get it good mix, make it nice and smooth. The usual spiel, guys. Always nice and smooth. I'm gonna pop that on in there. We're gonna mix that for, eh, Maybe about a minute or two. So not a super long time. Make sure to frequently scrape down the sides as we always tell you to make sure that everything is incorporated properly. 
By the way, this is also a really great pie to make um, if you just have a hand mixer. It's really easy. Um, so today we're gonna be making our scratch made whipped cream. However, if you would rather substitute whipped topping, you're welcome to do so. But you would need two buckets of the whipped topping. Just keep that in mind. If you want sort of a shorter cut to doing this. Also, just so you know, we took a packet of orange jello, one of the small packets of orange jello, and we added three quarters of a cup of boiling water to it. And then we popped this in the freezer until it was just, it's only semi set. So you're gonna wanna make sure that's done because that's gonna be an important part of the process. Perfect. So what are we doing right now? We're almost there, guys. All right, so now that we have our cream cheese and our sour cream, fully incorporated together. We're now gonna go on and add in our powdered sugar, our salt, and our vanilla. And so as far as our um, powdered sugar goes, we have a cup of powdered sugar here. We have a teaspoon of vanilla, and we have like around a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, really just a pinch, you, need, you don't need a lot. We're gonna go on and add that in. Perfect. So we're gonna mix that again until everything is fully incorporated. And that's just gonna take probably about mm, a minute or two, just like everything, it's a pretty quick process. So as you look, it'll be coming together really nicely in the bowl. And now, during this part, once this is all nicely incorporated, which is looking pretty good to me, you can turn it up a little higher, Joseph. Once this is all nicely and incorporated and smooth, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna slowly pour in our whipped cream. And so what will happen is this will create a, a, basically a stabilized whip. So there's another way, there's a few ways to make stabilized whip. One of them is with gelatin, another one is with vanilla pudding or white chocolate pudding, and another one is with cream cheese. So cream cheese really makes it a really, really nice consistency, but you have to do it in the right way, otherwise it could turn lumpy if, all, if your cream cheese and everything and everything's not at the right temperature. Always make sure to mix your cream cheese and your powdered sugar first before slowly incorporating in your heavy whipping cream. And this is two cups of whipped cream. All right, looking good. I'm thinking we're pretty much there. All right, thanks, John. That looks great. Just gonna mix that for another few seconds. Looking good. And Joe, you can go in and turn that down a little. And now we're gonna go on and pour that in. You don't want your whip, whipped cream splashing in your face. And so, perfect. Let's just pour that in a nice steady stream. Perfect. Turn that up. You're gonna turn your mixer to medium high speed at this point. You're gonna wanna make sure all those lumps from that cream cheese are smoothed out and incorporated into the whipped cream. And when we come back, we're gonna go in and add in this delicious jello in a separate bowl, and we're gonna fold that, and then we'll start making our pie. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we have our beautiful, essentially stabilized whipped cream with cream cheese mixture. And we're gonna go in and dollop half of that mixture into the bowl, just half, because we're gonna be dolloping them alternatively in our little um, pie shells here. That looks good, that looks like half. And then what we're gonna take is, Joe is going to take this and he is going to put this in there with that. There we go. All right, looks like we're having, there we go, looks good. All right, perfect. Perfect, and so he's gonna whisk these two together. All right, looking good. Get that nice and thoroughly incorporated, Joseph. All right. And you wanna make sure, like I said, that your jello is semi-set so you don't end up with any issues with incorporating your jello into your whipped cream. Oh, whisk it a little more. A little bit more of that out. Looks great. Let's keep going until most of your lumps are gone. And that's looking pretty good, guys. All right, looks great. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spoon 
and we're gonna dollop orange and dollop vanilla. Dollop orange and dollop vanilla until you have these layered colors so it looks really pretty when it's all said and done. Yeah, just put it in. Uh, yeah, use a different spoon. Yes, you wanna use a different spoon. All right, all right. Looks good. You can do a little bit more um, orange. You can do a little bit more orange. It shouldn't take forever, but not on one side. So what my husband is doing right now, we don't want a half and half. We want do dollops on different colors on top of each other, guys. Now you can do it like that, but it's prettier if you, all right. Is it gonna look good? Oh, okay. Okay, my husband is adding in some mail. He's techniques. doing what he wants to do right now. You know, this is what makes our dynamic amusing because he usually ends up doing his own thing. All right, which your husbands probably do as well. All right, so that's perfect. All right. What? What? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's add maybe in a little. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what he's doing. Like, oh, so okay. Well, uh, you know, you at home. So you can, delicious. you know, take some, <laughs> you can take some hints from him. He's doing what he wants, being creative. Feel free to be creative, guys. None of this has to be perfect. More likely than not, it's a lot of fun to make. So, all right, More? that's, huh? More? Um, you can just, you can, you no, know, that's, we're gonna just stop with that one. That's perfect. So guys, you can get an idea of what that looks like and we're gonna go in and finish this up. And when we come back, we're gonna be doing some Moa pie. All right, guys, so as you see here, we have our wonderful little second set of pie shells made for our Samoa pie. Now, this is just like the other pie shells, except this one has Oreo cookies instead of vanilla cookies. Literally made the same way. 20 chocolate cookie sandwich cookies, and then three ounces of melted butter, and then we pulse that inside of our food processor. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to putting our cream cheese, our powdered sugar, granulated sugar, and caramel all in the bowl to mix at one time. And so we're gonna go in and get that done. And just keep in mind that you're just mixing it until it's smooth, just like the last pie, very simple process. We're just gonna go in and get that going really quick. And you made this caramel. I did, yeah. So I, generally speaking, I make all of these types of things. I make caramel, I make glazes, I make, I like making my own whipped cream. I'm not really a huge fan of getting things out of bottles or out of containers. So I'm very, very bougie when it comes to that. I like good stuff and I like good food. So we're gonna go on and get that done. And a lot of those recipes, you'll be able to go to our website, cupcakefairy.com or to our YouTube channel, Cupcake Fairy. Um, and that is all K's, no C's. And you'll be able to find our recipes there and you can click our links afterwards. So perfect. So now we're gonna move on to, while this is mixing, we're actually gonna take, so this is toasted coconut, guys. So what you do with your toasted coconut is you're gonna put a couple of cups of toasted coconut in the, uh, of regular coconut, it's not toasted. So regular coconut in the oven, and you're gonna toast that for about 10 minutes until it looks like this. This looks really good, nice flavor. It's a little crisp and it gives it really nice nutty flavor. And to that, we're gonna add one cup of my own scratch made caramel. We're gonna stir that up and that's gonna be a topping for the pie. So we're gonna go in and do that. Perfect. And we're just gonna stir that really good until that's nicely incorporated. And right now we currently have our other pies in the fridge. They're setting, they're getting ready for us to taste and enjoy. And they're gonna be sitting in there chilling by the way for six hours until they are firm. So you want them nicely set. You don't want them loose and falling apart. The same thing is gonna also go for this particular pie. We're gonna be letting that set up in that fridge for at least six hours, or even a little longer if you have it, but six hours minimum. So we're all done with that. That looks great. Perfect. So now we're gonna check on our filling and see how we're coming along. All right, you can go in and scrape the sides. Let me rinse this for you, darling. There we go. You're welcome. And we're just making sure, as we always do, to make sure all of those ingredients are coming from the bottom of that bowl, coming to the top, so you can make sure everything is nicely incorporated as our bakers are learning to do at home. So this is looking great. All right. We are gonna mix that until it's smooth. And you see, listen to my husband, guys. 
So you're gonna watch from the first episode to now, he's telling me what to do. Suddenly he's the pro. I don't know how this happened, but he's definitely getting good. That was a question. Okay, okay. Well, he's doing good. All right, looks great, honey. Perfect. We're gonna mix that for just another few seconds or so until it's fully smooth. And then we're gonna get ready to add in our heavy whipping cream, two cups to be exact. All right, so we're gonna go in and add our two cups of heavy whipping cream to our cream cheese caramel mixture. And we're gonna slowly drizzle that in there and we're gonna mix that in, um, until it's fully thickened. And then from there, we're gonna go in and pull it, pour it into our completed pie shells. All right, guys, so for this wonderful final step we're doing, we're making our own homemade whipped cream. And in it goes two cups of heavy whipping cream, one box of white chocolate pudding. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're also gonna put in two tablespoons of powdered sugar to a quarter of a cup. It's really up to you to decide how sweet you want that. And then we're gonna go in and mix that until everything is nice and thick and we're good to go. We're gonna garnish our pies. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in and put our finished whipped cream inside of our frosting bag. As usual, I have a 1M tip and we're gonna use that and we're gonna go in and garnish our gorgeous little pies. Joe, would you like to attempt the garnish of this pie? Attempt. I'm going to accomplish. Oh, he says he's going to accomplish it, guys. So we're gonna see that. So I'm just gonna get the bag all set up for him. And there we go. Let's go in and get a little bit more. And we're gonna see how Joe is gonna do his decor on these wonderful little summertime ice box pies. So we're gonna go in and tap that down in there. Why don't we switch places here for a moment, sir? There we go, sounds wonderful. Before we garnish this, you can go in and, and put the whipped cream on that. But before we garnish that, I am gonna go in and do this part over here. I'm gonna pop this one here. And you want me to go all the way around the dollar for the center? You can do it however you want since you said you knew what you were doing and you were gonna accomplish this. All right, he's amazing, guys. He says he's gonna accomplish it. I'm gonna let him do just that. All right, so we're gonna spread this around, guys. Get a decent amount here. Spread it, that looks pretty good. Oh, looks nice, honey. Wait a minute. Whoa, are that we done? Good? No, that's good. I think that's perfect, honey. And we're gonna put this on here. Perfect. All right. All right, that looks really good, honey. All right. So now what we're gonna do is for this final step for our Samoa pie, we're simply gonna drizzle a little bit of this on top like this, guys. All right, and we're gonna do a little bit more on this one. And then we're gonna do this. Put a cute little sprinkle of toasted coconut up there. And a cute little sprinkle up there. There we go for those. And now for this, we are gonna simply do, this is a little bit of orange zest that I took off of a, this is just a navel orange. And I cut it into small little pieces. We're gonna just put a little bit of this up there, just a tad bit, not too much. You don't wanna overwhelm it. It's enough to look pretty. And then we're gonna do this. Let's just put it like that and like that. And there we have it. We have these wonderful little pies. Perfect for the summertime, guys. So we have our creamsicle pie and we have our Samoa pie and they're all nicely individually portioned, nice and cool. Don't even have to turn the oven on. Doesn't make your house hot and they're really, really easy to make and very, very delicious. As a matter of fact, if I can find a fork, I'm gonna take a little bite. It looks so tasty. So let's do this. I'm gonna try this one, because this one looks so good to me, guys. And I'm gonna take a little bite. Let's see if my alternating dolloping was good enough. Hmm, I don't see much orange in there yet. Let's get in there. <laughs> All right, looks good. Look at this. Wow, guys. Very good. I can taste the tanginess, I can taste the orange. Tastes almost like a shortbread cookie at the bottom. So good. You gotta try this at home. Thank you so much for watching us today. We really enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy making your pie.